Well, as you know, it was an amazing three weeks away on Helga, my beautiful GS, with the What's Up Down Under crew. But we did go through lots of rain, lots of mud, lots of dirt roads, lots of cow shit, and the bike was filthy. When I got home, in fact, I gave it a wash and it looked amazing, but I'm a bit pedantic. I love my cars, I love my bikes, I love them all as clean as they can be. And I just couldn't get Helga as clean as I wanted her. So I've come to visit my mate Prem, and he's gonna look after the detailing of Helga today and make her, well, let's see how good it looks, but I have a bit of a tip that it might be as good as it come out of the showroom. Anyway, let's roll the bike in and get washing. Once the initial comprehensive inspection was done, it was time to get into the nitty gritty. Starting with the wheels, the spokes, the brake rotors, all of those hard to reach spots, and they really copper hiding with road grime over time. Once they were cleaned, it's time to get sexy. Oh yeah. Who doesn't like a bit of soapy porn? All right, now it's time to roll the bike up onto the workbench, get it up in the air, and really start the magic at Detail Hub. So let's face it, the GS needed some serious love. I had just gotten back from doing four to 5,000 kilometers in country areas, dirt roads, coastal areas, and the previous owner before me has taken this bike on the GS Safari, which was a really challenging off-road, multiple day thing in the Australian outback as well. So the bike needed some serious love. Prem and his team left no stone unturned. He absolutely cleaned this bike meticulously and every single nook and cranny was attended to. All right, so Helga is coming up really spot on. So we sat outside, all of the wet washing was done outside. Now she's up on the hoist. She's had all of the undercarriage done, a bit of buffing on the paintwork now and whoo, she's looking good. All right, the seats are going back on. I'll have to do the reveal very shortly, but it's looking schmick. I am super impressed. And uh, do you know what? I don't even want to ride it anymore. I want to wrap it in a Glad Wrap, put it on a truck and take it home so it stays clean. Anyway, that's not gonna happen, right? Prem, thanks so much mate, I really appreciate that. Helga is looking better than when I actually picked her up the first day, so I really appreciate it man. No worries mate, it was a pleasure, always a pleasure working on bikes like that, so it's always good to restoring them. So from an audience member's point of view, how long would it take to do a full detail on a bike like my GS? Sure, so it normally depends between the bike to bike, but normally between four to six hours, that's what you'll be looking at because we had to go to the nooks and crannies of the bike. Uh, as you saw, um, we take between four to six hours on one bike. And certainly, um, you, you did go through nooks and crannies, and you took some of the some of the items off to get in a bit better. So um, it's, it's an amazing job, and the products that you use 
secret sauce products yes. um, are amazing products. Yeah, they're, it they're is. obviously top end products. Yeah, we always focus on promoting high quality products. We don't buy off the shelf. Yeah, so we use uh, we use some um, specific products for a specific uh, part of the bike because we have, as you know, there's plastics on it, uh, leather on it, painted surface which will be glossy and matte. So we have specific products for specific uh, area of the bike. So well, that's what we use. And something really cool for you guys, you're actually going to be hosting some DIY nights in the future, teaching people how to detail their, their bikes. Yeah, that's the most exciting thing at the moment we are doing is... Uh, we thought like it, there's an opportunity for people to connect to the bike more and and create a bit of a, a better connection. They can they can work on the bike like what we do. Uh, we'll be providing all the tools, products, uh, knowledge, the how to do things, um, and they can have it. Uh, do, they they can do it by by themselves, and um, yeah, and have a fun night. So we're gonna provide dinner and um, and some refreshments uh, during the during the sessions as well. Prem, mate, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad that you guys got to watch to see a master at work. Like seriously, uh, the patience of a of a ninja, I must say, to be able to do all of that. I love detailing my cars and bikes, but not to that extent. That's actually super superhuman, I think. No, nah, thanks. I appreciate your time as well. It's awesome, uh, Rob. So it's great. Thank you. Okay. Check out all of the details in the description below, and make sure if you're Sydney, uh, come and see Prem for all of your detailing needs. Thanks, guys. Thank you.